You ever, you know, Snoop, you ever thought about doing a documentary on you and your evolution? I'm talking about from the beginning when you first came out, Wild Snoop, bitches ain't yet beholding tricks to 50-year-old grandfather Snoop who has seen so much life has evolved as a man, a father, a, a husband. Have you ever thought about that? Just showing people that growth is possible? Not really, but if I do it, I think you should probably interview me. I think that'd be dope because mm -hmm. you would get some good insight on your perspective. You're looking in from the outside. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You've seen the wild Snoop. You've seen the one that was on death row, the one that grew up on No Limit, the one that came out with Pharrell that became a father, became a football coach to where I'm at now. So you would be able to have a different perspective, and I would like that because it's a different angle. Absolutely. It's I wild watching you and Fat Joe change and evolve. Right. Like you two brothers were the, were the brothers that if you seen, if you look the wrong way or act the wrong way, you probably get punched in the face fast. But to see you both of you brothers evolve, it's the, it's the, it's the craziest and thing. And you know where most of our evolution came from? At Minister Farrakhan's house after um, Biggie got killed. Wow. I had called Mr. Farrakhan and I wanted to get with all of the rappers and he helped me put together a day at his house. Mm -hmm. And Fat Joe drove on a bus and he, um, he had some words for Ice Cube about, you know, the West Side Connect as far as like, how the East Coast loved Ice Cube and protected him and had his back when N.W.A. went bad on him and how could he do this? But it was just a minor conversation that was needed mm -hmm. and it made me respect Fat Joe because I seen he was a real man and he really loved Ice Cube and for him to say that, that took a lot of love to say that I'm hurt behind you doing that and we love you and spoke for New York and me and him got real cool and close after that to where I watched him grow, he watching me grow, and just to be on his podcast, to be able to see us both hold that conversation and be grown men, it's evolution. I feel like they need that today, too, because some of these younger artists, they are going at it. And I'm like, who is the person, or how can some of these issues be resolved? Because I think social media just adds another layer. But it's about growth, though, Angela, because I had to grow into who I am. When I was young, I didn't have no patience. I didn't give a fuck. I wanted to get busy like everybody else. I wanted to fight, do everything everybody else wanted to do. But as you get older, you get kids, you understand what life is about, then you got to separate yourself. A lot of these rappers don't know how to separate just yet. They don't know how to close the gap. And I spoke to that, you know, years ago about closing the gap. And that's when a rapper is up here and his friends are down here. The only way to close the gap is if the rapper goes back down because they're not going to come up to his level. And that's the problem with the industry. A lot of these rappers got to understand that you got to separate, you know, personal from business. It's so hard, though, because especially if you're a rapper and you, say, are heading up a label, you're the president, mm -hmm. and then you're cool with your artist, but mm -hmm. then you have to make some business decisions that aren't cool. So it's sometimes hard, right? Don't you think to, to separate? It's hard to separate, but you got to be who you are because I watch Death Row, I watch Bad Boy, I watch Def Jam, I watch Murder, Inc., and all of them had certain street elements to it. And then they had a business element to it. And you look at their longevity based off of how did they conduct themselves in the business atmosphere. Were they street or were they business? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when they were street, that's why they ain't in business no more. Uh -huh.